Today we are looking at a clay that I first reviewed about two years ago. The clay from Jack Henry. And since I reviewed it back then, every so often I get asked, hey, do you still use that clay? Does your opinion still hold up two years later? So today I'm going to give it another full review. I'm going to put it through all the paces and give you guys either a full second look at it or maybe it's your first time hearing about this clay. If it is, it might be one that you'll want to pay attention to because it is very different from the clay that we usually see here on the channel. So let's go ahead and get into it. Let's put five minutes on the clock. Here we go. If it's your first time seeing it, this is the clay from Jack Henry. And according to the brand, this is an award-winning clay that provides all-day hold while adding thickness, texture, and volume to your hair. They also say it provides a good matte finish while providing hydration and nourishment. Beyond that, it contains only four organic ingredients, just four, and it comes in two sizes, 1.69 ounces for $28 US and 3.3 ounces for $38 US. Looking inside the jar here, which first let me just say I love this upgraded packaging. My lord, this jar is pretty. And I really love the box too. I mean, they went all out on the presentation and that goes huge with me. But inside the jar, we got a very different looking clay. This has only four ingredients and none of them are water or petro. So this isn't really going to compare to most clays out there that we've checked out. And scooping it out really reinforces that. Here you get a first look at what it kind of looks like in the hand. It's pretty thick, but it still comes out without a ton of pressure. And when it gets into the hand, it breaks down quite easily. Now though, let's put it to use. I'm going to be using it this time on dry hair and I'm just going to do it this one way and I'm going to give it a standard run through. And as I begin, the weird thing about this clay is that it feels so light and almost goopy or oily. But when you apply it to the hair, you get way more of a response than you would think that you're going to get based on how it feels. It's almost like an illusion. It doesn't feel dry or tacky or sticky. It feels really light and pasty and oily. And yet, as you can see here, it goes right into the hair and just gets to work and it sets the style in like two seconds flat. It always gets me when it does this. I always forget that this product does this based on how many products I actually use. And when I come back to this one, I always forget that it does this. It's like an instant styler where it enters the hair and almost styles itself. It's very cool. Now though, let's check on this style eight hours in. And this was after a long day and a 30 plus minute leaf blowing session, mind you. And I'm not just saying that. You can see for yourself on the camera how light and fluffy my hair looks, which usually means the hold is not there. But here it looks very much put together. I mean, this has to be the pure power of the clays because I can't really explain how this does it just looking at it. It just holds together with one comb flick. I mean, watch that again. I'll mess it up with my fingers. Then I'll take the comb and just give it one flick totally cleaned up. That's just weird to me because it doesn't feel like it should be doing this. It's so light in the hair, but I don't know what else to say. I mean, it's working and it's working well. For the washout now, this is actually much easier for me to describe. Easy for me anyway. It needed one shampoo. It definitely wasn't a water rinse, but I'm an everyday washer anyway, so for me, washing once wasn't really that big a deal. In the end here, though, I have to say this is one of the most unique clays still that I've reviewed here on the channel. And I think that's why overall this brand has done well and continues to do so well. They got a lot of new products now. We're going to be taking a look at a couple of them in future videos. And I think that's partially because they're not just running your typical clean and green lineup. They are doing it with very unique formulas that still perform well and with beautiful presentation. And that's one big thing that really stands out for me with this clay. It's not just all for show. You see, a lot of the times we do see products and brands that promote this clean and green angle, but their products just don't perform well. These guys, in my opinion, and this clay specifically, is a really cool one because it checks those boxes and still brings the performance performance to the table, and that's why I think it's very much relevant in 2022. I mean, I gotta be honest, I know it's high priced and everything, but I think it's just well planned and well executed, and really when it comes to products, there's no substitution for that, and there's no way to fake it. I will say for me though that the hold is around a medium, lighter end of medium maybe, and the finish starts off shiny or almost shiny, but then it goes matte pretty quickly into the day, and then, you know, it stays there pretty easily. Finally the pricing. Yes, last time I reviewed this, I remember the kickback I got for the price. And yeah, I'd agree this one's up there, but you know, price is subjective. There's definitely people out there who will say, no way, it's way too high. And then there's some people on the other side who will say, shut up, take my money. In the end, as always, the verdict is up to you. And if you'd like to check this out for yourself, a link will be in the description down below. That's all I got for today. Thanks so much for checking this out with me. Make sure you do the big three for me, like, comment, and subscribe. And in that comment, let me know your thoughts on this, Clay. I'm really interested to hear what you guys think think about this one. I am always interested in hearing what you guys think about the stuff I review, so let me know in the comment section what you think about this clay. Take it easy. I'll see you next time.